we feel that we cannot be excellent as an institution unless we are inclusive. We want to be a campus where students and faculty and staff and others can come and they can see themselves here and they can see through what we have done physically and virtually that they are welcome on this campus. I've been going to CSU since 2012. And now I am in the uh, veterinary medicine program. I actually got kicked out of vet school. Uh, temporarily because of di difficulties with my disabilities that made it so I wasn't pa I didn't pass one of my classes. Even though you can't see my disability you can see the interpreters and so students would like point at the interpreters and look around the room and you can't pick me out I look like every other student. <laughs> People tend to think of everything else when it comes to inclusion and not disability. So I have severe severe ADHD and I also have very very terrible anxiety when it comes to numbers testing etc um, and so I mean it's just not a great combination like I mean I'm very grateful that I have it because it does make me significantly different than a lot of people if that makes sense. We need people who think differently we need people of different cultures of different religious pursuits of different abilities and disabilities as part of the mix in order to improve society for all of us. Hi, I'm Brooke. I graduated from CSU in May of 2014 and now work as a therapist. I was totally blind since birth. I have bilateral microphthalmia. I have been using assistive technology and braille for my whole life. This is Joe. How can I help you? My name is Joe Tyner. I'm a second year graduate student in the adult education and training program. You said Tori was your name? Having such technology has really allowed me to really just have that equal access and allow me just to do, to do the work I know I can do. I just have to have that, those, the means of doing it. First it was the foot, um, then it was maybe a, a shakiness, especially on my left side. Um, then it was starting to lose some functionality, especially while typing, and I do a lot of typing in my job, as many university professors do. Um, and yeah, things were just kind of starting to uh, get dysfunctional. So I needed some help. This is not about other people. This is about every single one of us. There is no other protected class that I can join. I'm not gonna wake up tomorrow and be a person of color. I could wake up tomorrow and have a disability. I was a active duty service member in the United States Marine Corps. My biggest challenge was learning how to learn. You will learn the essential helping skills. When I started listening to the books, I was able to build a story in my brain much better. I use um, screen magnifiers, um, depending on the, the like when the operating system, it might be different programs. Like on Mac, it's just a built-in feature called Zoom. On Windows, it's a program called Zoom Text. I also use, um, those programs usually come with a feature that allows me to change the color scheme. Um, I prefer reading um, like white text on a black, on a dark background. It's a lot easier for me to read that way than the traditional black text on a white background. I also use an app on my phone that let, it's, it turns my, basically my phone's camera into a ma uh, magnifying glass so I can enlarge um, paper documents in front of me as well. Technology has the ability to really level the playing field for individuals with disabilities as long as it is accessible or something that can be made accessible in an equally effective way. So when we think about universal design as a social issue, a social justice issue, it's really meant to include people with disabilities in the opportunities that are available to anyone else. It really is everybody's responsibility, you know, from the person that is making purchasing decisions for IT, to the person that's deploying IT, to the person that's creating a Word document or a PDF. Everybody has some responsibility to understand the accessibility implications of what they're doing and to know how to do it the right way so that they don't erect barriers. For us, diversity is all inclusive and it means that we all have something to bring to the table and we all have a perspective that should be valued and it should be included if we're going to be a good university. We may have to change the institution a little bit, the way we do things. 